kindly ask that you step out of the aisle and allow other customers to pass by while you take your seat. Thank you and welcome aboard. Good morning from Salt Lake City, Utah. It is Memorial Day and I'm heading back to Long Beach today. I'll be flying on Delta 3775 in Comfort Plus. Join me on today's flight experience. I'm taking the light rail to the airport. If you're staying around Temple Square or downtown SLC, the Green Line light rail will take you from downtown to the airport in about 20 minutes. The one-way ticket is only $2.50. Salt Lake International Airport. Please exit here. This is the last station on this route. There's my flight, Delta 3775, which is on time. It's not too busy yet, and I arrived about three hours early so I could do some plane spotting. There are tons of kiosks here with the check-in and baggage drop-off right behind the kiosks. No bags for me to check today. I'm departing from the B gates. To get there, you go halfway through the A concourse until you see a sign directing you to a tunnel, and you go down the escalators. From there, you can walk or you can wait there for a shuttle to take you to the other side. I'm going to walk. I'm just waiting to get a coffee. Guess a lot of people were thinking the same thing. I picked up some pan dulce at a Latin supermarket to go with my latte while doing some plane spotting. I'm hanging out by B1 and 2 where you can get some good views of the runway and planes taxiing, taking off and landing. And there's our plane coming in from Long Beach, also as Delta 3775. It's a bit of a long walk to the other side of Concourse B, where my plane is. This morning we'll be departing out of Gate B25. So remember, I have no status with Delta or Sky Team, and on my last flight, I was in main cabin too, which was toward the end of the boarding. Today, being in Comfort Plus, I get to board a lot earlier. Due to all the construction, all the Delta Connection flights board temporarily outdoors and are parked at a remote area. To get there, we go down the ramp, and then we look for a door with a bus waiting to take us to our plane. Hopefully this project will be completed before the weather gets cold. I think this kind of setup would be very uncomfortable for a lot of passengers. Out into the rain to get on board. There's our plane parked at D5. It's about a six-year-old Embraer E175LR with registration November 247 Lima Yankee. 
It's a Delta Connection plane operated by SkyWest Airlines. Welcome inside. Here's first class on board the Embraer U-175, which I did a trip report on earlier. It's arranged in a 1-2 seating arrangement. Today I'm in Comfort Plus, seated in 6A. Window seat, of course. The good thing about boarding early is now I'm all settled in. On these planes, there's no personal screen, but there is Wi-Fi, USB power, and the plug-in is available. However, I chose not to use it this time. The headrests are adjustable, but it didn't seem to get quite high enough for me, and I'm not a tall person at 5 feet 7 inches. Here comes the next bus with the next group of passengers. Again, this process definitely slows down our boarding process compared to if we were just able to board at a regular gate. It's a full flight, and now with everyone on board, we're just about to push back. So far, so good. Just a few other flights are pushing back next to us. Check it out, we're only six minutes behind schedule for departure. We'll be taking off right after this Southwest Airlines 737-700 lands. So with that in mind, enjoy the takeoff!
almonds or pretzels. Again, that was Biscoff cookies, granola bar, almonds or pretzels. We have two restrooms on board, one at the front of the aircraft, one at the back. And the button to flush the toilet is located right above the toilet paper. Here you can see the seat reclined in front of me now, with snack service to begin very shortly. Like the last flight, there were three choices for snacks. Pretzels, granola square, and what I chose this time, a cookie. No, I didn't take a bite out of the cookie before showing you. It came with part of the corner already broken off. Although partly broken, the cookie was tasty, though maybe a little dry. I also decided to get some water to drink, as I find it very important to be hydrated even on a short flight like this. Weather in Long Beach. It's a beautiful weather. Wind is calm. 10 miles, skies are clear. Temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The gate is as it's been skate forth. Thank you for choosing that. So being in the window seat, and with the person next to me falling asleep, I didn't want to bother him, so no views of the rest of the economy cabin or the lavatory today. Let's wrap up this flight experience. First, Salt Lake City has a beautiful airport, although it's a bit of a walk if your flight leaves from Concourse B. The construction continues, and in the meantime, the boarding for the SkyWest flights is a bit hectic. Getting on a bus and boarding in a remote area, especially in the rain, made the boarding less than ideal. Flying in Comfort Plus was nice. Great view in front of the wing and very spacious. It's also nice that on this plane, your standard carry-on luggage will fit in the overhead bin. The crew was very friendly and fast in serving snacks and beverages and picking up our trash. The snack was good, although the presentation was not so good with the broken piece of the cookie. The flight overall was very smooth. And so we'll be landing in Long Beach very shortly. So enjoy this landing! Welcome to Long Beach, California, where it's a beautiful Memorial Day here. We welcome you to Long Beach, where the local time is 12.04. Please stay seated with your seatbelt press and carry on items. Don't tell the aircraft is parked at the gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Be careful when opening the overhead bins to avoid injury from items that may have shifted during flight. You may uh, receive an email survey from Delta asking you to share your experience with us. We value your feedback and use your responses to continually improve your traveling experience. We have brought you to download and use the Flight Delta app for all your future travel needs, including checking in for flight and managing your SkyMiles account. If you left uh, anything like a stroller, any assistive device uh, in the jet bridges you board.
for joining me today. Please leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to see all of my flight experiences in Blaine's body. We'll see you next time.